Maybe not too funny, but I thought you might enjoy it. All right, let's get to it. So, domain, all my x's. Let's take a look. My furthest x, I have negative 2, and it's included, and positive 2, and it's concluded. So, negative 2 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to positive 2. My range or my y is my lowest y is negative 2 to 2. And again, it's included, so I include on my less than or greater than. All right? Find f of 1. f of 1 is here, so I look. Where does it meet? At 1 or negative 1. Find f of x when f of x is negative 2. That's the same as y is negative 2. What is it right here? What does it meet? At 0. And is it a function? Why or why not? No, because it fails the vertical line test. All right, when we come down here, we have rate of change. Remember, rate of change, we have uh, to find some points. Three minutes, 16 contestants. 19 minutes, eight contestants. And then I'm using my uh, slope formula. Remember, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. y2, so that's eight minus 16 over 19 minus 3. 8 minus 16 is negative 8. 19 minus 3 is 16, so that is negative point, uh, excuse me, negative 0 0.5. And remember, you need to have a label for any rate of change, so contestants per minute. All right? A couple of things about slope that you want to remember. Parallel slopes are always the same. Perpendicular slopes are negative reciprocals, right? So negative two-thirds and three-halves, those would be parallel. All right, let's take a look down here. Graph each of these equations. Y equals mx plus b. So I'm starting at two. Down five over one. One, two, three, four, five over one. One, two, I oh, can't do it again. And I'm really bad at drawing lines on this. Find the intercept, so I want to find 3x equals negative 6, that's a 0, that's so 3x divided by 3x is negative 2, so I put a dot here, because y is 0, x is 0, I have negative 6y equals negative 6 divided by negative 6, and y is 1, so that's right here, because x is 0, boom, alright, make sure on the test you actually, you know, locate those, those will be worth points. Over here, let's take a look. I can graph it anyway. 3x isn't going to 4, though, so that's not going to be accurate. So I need to solve this for y. So I'm going to subtract 3x. So negative 2y equals negative 3x plus 4. I'm going to divide everything by negative 2. So I have y equals 3 halves x uh, plus negative 2. So go down and start at negative 2. Up 3, 1, 2, 3, over 2. 1, 2, 3 over 2. Remember, you cannot do a standard form and find uh, the intercepts and graph that way if this comes out as a decimal. And when I divide by 4, that's not accurate. Um, I don't want that on the graph, okay? Um, and you can see it, it kind of meets right here. It doesn't meet at 1. It meets like right here. How would you be able to approximate that? You wouldn't be able to, all right? Okay, what do we got next? We have, write the equation of the line. All right, remember that new form, uh, slope intercept form, or uh, excuse me, point slope form? Y minus Y1 equals M times X minus X1. So the first thing we need is a slope. So negative two minus negative one, the same thing as negative two plus one, and four minus three, so that's negative 1 over 1, so our slope is negative 1. So plug in, I'm going to use this point. y minus negative 1 is the same thing as y plus 1. And then my slope's negative 1 times x minus 3. I got to distribute, so I have y plus 1 equals negative 1x plus 3. Subtract 1. So y equals negative x plus 2. All right, over here, the first thing I have to do is find my slope, and it's perpendicular, so I flip it, 2 over 1, make it negative, negative 2 over 1, or just negative 2. So y minus 1 equals negative 2 times x minus 2. 
distribute negative 2x plus 4, add 1 to both sides, y equals negative 2x plus 5, right like that. Flipmath.com is on fire. Big company wants to come in and pay the algebra rows. They say they can get eight hits. For eight hits, they get six dollars. Woohoo! But for 56 hits, they only get twelve dollars. Ooh, that's not as good. All right, so what's the average rate of change? So that's slope. So 12 minus 6, 56 minus 8. Now remember, when you have a rate of change, it can be in terms of either a um, fraction or a decimal. A lot of times we have um, decimals because they're more real-world problems, right? But you can always convert it back to, all right, so this is $0.125 per hit. All right, if you wanted that as a fraction, it'd be 1 over 8, all right? I like the fraction for the equation, just because I'm going to have to graph it in a second, and I know that. What's the equation of the line? So I have a slope and I have a point. So y minus 6 equals 1 eighth times x minus 8. y minus 6 equals 1 eighth x. 1 eighth of 8 is 1. I'm going to add 5. y equals 1 eighth x. Add 5 to that, and or excuse me, add 6 to that, and I get 5. So there's my equation of line. How many hits do we start with? Our initial value is 5, so 5 hits. All right? Okay, and this, of course, is from part B. So graph our equation from part B plus 5. Start here. Up 1 over 8. Up 1 over 8. Whoa. All right. All right, if the algebra was had 100 hits in a day, how many would they have? So that's user equation. 1 eighth times 1,000 hits plus 5, right? 1 eighth times 1,000 is 125. Plus five, we'd have $130. Whoa, we're rich. Um, whoa, look at that. The answer's already there. Let's see if I can work it out again. So, now I want to make $1,000. So that's, on my, that's my Y. So Y equals 1 eighth X plus five. Subtract five, I get 995. The opposite of multiplying, or multiplying by 1 eighth is divided by 1 eighth or multiply by the reciprocal 8 over 1. So I'm just going to multiply this by 8. So 995 times 8 is 77,960 hits. All right. There you go. Uh, here's a little clip about what would happen if a football coach from America went over to coach football in England. Good luck on the test and kill chapter three. See you on the flip side. My name's Ted Lasso. I'm new head coach for Tottenham Spurs. Has there been a learning curve? I would say a little bit. Starting to understand why these scores are so low. Look how tiny these goals are. Have them put on their pads and let's start playing for real. They're wearing their pads, coach. What are these trust exercises? Hey, that's, well, three points. No points. No points. Why not? Gotta go in. Come on, Rob! You gotta get it in there to get three points. One point. Who's uh, orange shoes there? Gareth Bale. Bale, where he's from? He's from England? Wales. Wales? Wait, that's another country? Yes and no. How many countries are in this country? <laughs> he knocked at that ball with his head. Is that legal? Totally legal. Will you explain to me how that was offside? Explain offside to me. It made no sense. Uh, one of the issues I've had is what tackling was. What I understand to be tackling and what they understand to be tackling, very, very different. There you go, tackling! He's just sliding around. Right there, Gary. That's how you tackle. But but I'm learning, and and I want to learn. Premier League is on NBC and the NBC Sports Network, August 17th.